All right, so I'm finally getting out of this heater. Um, I have taken it apart already, and I've taken a look at all the things inside to make sure that nothing was obviously wrong. All right, inside there is a pretty normal looking spark plug for like a lawnmower or something. Um, this is a Champion N12YC. This looked pretty good. Um, I think I could even hear the spark going at the time when I made the first video. So I thought that was fine. And we actually got flames, so it worked. And then this is the injector nozzle right here. That was pretty clean. So then I was taking a look at the uh, what we were calling either the photo cell or the flame sensor. That's what was connected to here um, was the flame sensor. I took that out and I'll show you the old and the new one that I ordered. In the manual that we have, uh, the one thing that I could look towards was the heater ignites but the button of safety control pops out anyway. And the things that they were telling you were dirty photo cell, damaged photo cell, or damaged safety control or the connections in the circuit. So basically there's only two components in here that could be bad, which is the photo cell and the safety control. Safety control is the thing that actually turns it off. That's a little button that pops out. So typically um, I've been looking around and people say that the photo cell or is probably the most common one that would go out. So I ordered this part. Um, here's just the old photo cell. Of course it, I had to chop it all up to get it out of there. Because it was originally like a rubber material. And over time it had hardened and expanded and I couldn't get it out. So I had to cut it out. Here's the old part, it's two different colored wires. There's the actual photo cell. And here's the new part. It's real rubber. So I'm gonna have to wire this one in. That just goes in this little bracket here. Put it all back together and uh, see if that fixes it. So on the photo cell that I got, they have these connections on it. Because one photo cell can be used on many different uh, heater applications. Any torpedo heater in a wide range of companies that make them. So um, I'm going to be cutting, cutting the wires because I don't need those connectors on there. From the factory, everything is uh, connected using wire nuts, so I'm just going to continue to use these. These bolts here are a quarter inch, and I just go right here at the bottom like this. This bracket doesn't usually have to come off to replace the photo cell, but mine would not come out of the bracket, so I had to take the whole thing out. I suppose I could have cut it if I would have known that that was the rod I was going to take to get it out. You can't get in here with the socket and a ratchet because this part gets in the way. And a wrench would take forever, so it's a good thing to use a heater wrench or ratcheting wrench. All right, now I have those two bolts in. I'll put the new flame sensor in here. It just slides in, and there's a little ridge on here. It just has to go past. There it is. Should be good. I'm going to put my um, injector nozzle back in. I didn't have to take this out, but I just wanted to make sure it was clean. I have it out. Why not? Clean it out. I think I just uh, I just shot carpet cleaner through. I backwards and forwards. And this injector nozzle is a five eighths. This doesn't need to be real tight. The threads or the threads aren't actually what's doing the sealing. There's an O ring on there, so just on there, good enough. Alright, I'm just going to cut these. And I'll run them through the little hole that's in here. And I'll hook those up later. Just pull them through. The thing you want to do first is put the spark plug back on. And the instructions want you to put the open end of the spark plug towards where the injector nozzle is. You just want a 45 degree angle on it, facing towards it. All 
All right, this is an 11 16 and they want it on a 45 degree angle from the ejector nozzle. Straight ahead, that would be about a 45 right there. I guess I gotta try to keep it still, while I tighten it. I can put the 5 16 bolts through the bracket. Alright, now that the bracket's back on, you just hook up the spark plug wire, get this in its place. And then everything in here is all the way hooked up. Let's wiggle the motor back in its place. Alright, and over to the wiring, I'll just strip back these wires on the new photo cell. As far as I know it shouldn't matter which one they go on. Uh, this one doesn't actually come with two different colored wires so any one is good. It's just a resistor. So I'll put the original wire nuts back on. Alright, now I'll just tuck all this wiring back in, out of the way of everything, like it was. Then there's this panel that goes over the front here. Alright, and lastly I'll put the whole cover on. That should just slide right on. You can just line up the holes and put all six bolts back in, all five sixteenths. And also, before tightening them up, this um, screen goes in here first. Now it's ready for the final tightening. Alright, now that that's on, it's ready to go outside and uh, try it out.
Well, it works good now, and all it took was a uh, simple changing of a photo cell. I bought the part offline on eBay for $14, and it was pretty easy to install. So, if anybody's else is having this problem where it just turns on for five seconds, runs perfect, and then it just shuts off. Investigate into uh, this one here, which would be one of those two the photo cell or the safety control. More than likely a photo cell. Alright, well, it definitely works now. Um, the only th other thing that I think I'm going to need to do is uh, hook up a pressure gauge to the back of this and make sure that the pressure is correct because uh, it says in the manual that you should do that quite often and it didn't seem like it was burning as good as it should be. It kind of seemed like it was burning a little rough. I don't know. So I, if the pressure is not right, it might cause it to run too rich or too lean. So if I get that done, it should run a little better than it was in the video. I'll put a link to the photo cells on eBay. And then I'll also put a link to the owner's manual, or the instruction manual for this unit. Um, if I can't find it online, I'll just make a PDF of my own.